Hello everyone and welcome back to another planting video. My name is Maisie if you're new here and today is another monthly favourites. So I've picked out five favourites for today, just plants that I'm really really loving and appreciating this month. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. So the first is my Golden Pothos. This is just doing so well lately. Um, I just can't believe how much it's grown just from uh, the three cuttings that I started out with. There's just always a new shoot, a new leaf. It's hanging up on my window, so it's just loving the light. I have noticed the leaves getting smaller um, each time. So I'm hoping to chop this very soon and just make this a fuller plant. I also don't know if this needs repotting. No, this is fine. I know this has definitely got more variegation um, since being in my window, which is a south-facing window, so getting quite a lot of light. As you can see, um, when this wasn't getting much light, it was just basically all green leaves and then I put it in my windowsill and just slowly developed more variegation I also find this plant so easy to care for it just lets me know when it's thirsty the leaves will just be really droopy and I can just tell straight away um so then I'll just give it a water which is probably uh maybe once a week maybe a little bit sooner now that we're getting into summer maybe every five four or five days but I'm definitely just really appreciating this plant more I think because it's just doing so well and I'm just quite proud of how big I've managed to get that just from like I said like three cuttings um actually I'm not sure when I got this probably I would say nearly a year I think I started out with six cuttings then after a few months I divided it and was just left with like three leaves and uh, it's just grown from that so yeah okay next one is another hanging plant again which is on my window this is a kind of a recent one this is my philodendron micans. I absolutely love this. I already had a cut in. It was literally, I don't know if you can see, it's just this one little cutting here. So this is the cutting that I had. It's just four or five leaves just here. I planted it in with this. But I wanted just a full bushy plant of it. So when I saw it in the shop, I just, I just had to get it. And it's just so beautiful, like the colour and the backs. And like how big some of the leaves are. Like this is quite big. Anyway, so like I said, it's just on my south facing window again, quite a lot of light. And yeah, it's just kind of the same watering care. I kind of water most of my plants uh, roughly about the same time, probably five to seven days. Or my plants will let me know before then and I'll do it sooner. I'm just so happy to have a big bushy beautiful micans and I'm just I can't wait to watch this grow. Okay next one is right here. I can just get this without breaking everything. Okay wait is there any spiders? Oh cobwebs. Do you see that? <laughs> okay so this is my oh my goodness philodendron imperial red. <laughs> it's massive. Let me just put this back here because you can quite clearly see it. So I've had this quite a few months I still need to repot it. <laughs> I just love the leaves. Like these leaves are so big. Um, and the colour when they come in. Look at these stems. This is the new little growth point that still hasn't done anything. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting on that. I probably it's probably because it needs repotting, but anyway, yeah. The leaves desperately need a clean. It's just like all the watermarks. And it's dusty. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the same really as my other philodendron, um, like the care, it's just the leaves will be more droopy and softer, it won't be, you know, as firm and hard, so then I'll just, like I said, give it a water. It's just down here, probably like 10 feet away from my window, it gets a decent amount of light really, but yeah, this is still kind of new to me really, I'm not really <laughs> an expert on this yet, but I'm definitely just loving this more and more, and, uh, and I will be reporting it very soon, don't worry. Um, yeah, I just, I just really hope this does something. Uh, wow, look at that colour. Sorry, um, anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've got two left. Um, I said this last time, so... Should I do this one? Yeah, okay. Okay, my last two. Ow, ow. It's my Philodendron Florida Ghost. I showed this actually on my last favourites video, but... I'm sorry, but I'm showcasing this again. It is beautiful and I love it. Look at this leaf. I'm still obsessed with it, yes. Yes, I am. 
and I have a new leaf. Oh my goodness, it's even tinier than the last one. Okay, <laughs> the new leaf, look at the stems. The stems are beautiful when they come in. It's like just bright red. It's really, really beautiful, like I said. It's like, I don't know how to show this. There you go, that's the new leaves. Um, I desperately need to get this on a moss pole. You can see a little aerial root just there. I'm actually going to be making some very soon. I've just ordered the moss and, and the netting. So it's going to be my first time making moss poles, but I'll probably do a video on it, take you along with me. But yeah, um, and I don't know if you can see, just here is another growth point already. So this is just doing so well. It's been in my window for, um, I'd say a, a few weeks, maybe a couple months even. I can't really remember. And that's how I got this to be so light this is like hardened off it is getting more and more greener um and i've also noticed if you can see so this is obviously a mature leaf um and this is one of the newest leaves like the difference the shape um this this seems to definitely be more of a juvenile leaf um so i'm not sure why it's kind of going back and then obviously this leaf you can you can tell well i don't know maybe you can tell i don't want to touch it really but can you see like how how small it's even smaller than this leaf and this leaf is quite small so it's kind of going kind of going back each leaf um so i'm not sure why probably because it needs a moss pole um so yeah like i said that's going to be happening very soon <laughs> but yeah kind of obsessed with this plant lately and this had to be in this video um but yeah okay last plant for today is my philodendron gloriosum it doesn't look anything special on camera to be honest um but it is just a little cutting rooting in sphagnum moss um but i have wanted this plant for so wait let me just turn this around you don't want to see the back <laughs> there you go it's a pretty side i've wanted this plant for so long like this was um uh, my top wishes plant for a very long time and i finally got it probably a few months ago and um it's been rooting its sphagnum moss it hasn't done anything so it has got a new growth point just down there i am hoping that it's gonna do something and it's not even really rooted like i check it every now and again and it's not it's not got any uh new roots which is a little bit worrying but i mean it's not dying so that's good <laughs> and it might not look anything spectacular now but i i just love gloriosums so like they're one of my favorite plants um I also just love the veins, like they look fuzzy, it just looks really cool and they're so soft, so velvety and I just really love the heart leaf velvety plants, um, kind of got a theme going on with my varicosum, gloriosum, melanochrysum and now my Elchoco red, which if I was doing six favourites that would probably be in this, even though it's just a tiny little chunk rooting, again it's back in the moss with a tiny little leaf, um, it's literally nothing really at the minute but if if mine looked any better then I would definitely have showed this in this video but it's only because it's like well I'll show you if you want as a little extra so it's just here this is it um rooting in sphagnum moss with this alocasia I don't know what this is I have three different alocasia corms in this so um yeah <laughs> I think this is my alocasia sor sorion um but anyway we're not talking about that we're talking about this yeah, uh, I have half a leaf. <laughs> I bought this with, uh, I think, four leaves, but, but they all just like rotted away, um, which I was really upset about. But it's okay. I'm just really hoping I'm going to get a new leaf. It's just in this little container. I've got the lid off, so it's not the moss isn't touching the leaves or the stem. So hopefully <laughs> the next leaf will be better. And um, yeah, the roots are already good on this, so hopefully I won't have to wait long until I repot this. But yeah, El Chogo Reds are absolutely absolutely stunning i just <laughs> i just can't believe it anyway um yeah like i said if this looked any better then definitely would have been in this video well it is in this video but i'm just gonna stop talking now and uh, you get the point and that's it for my monthly favorites i really hope you enjoy i really am going to be trying to do this every month so please if you did like this video let me know by liking this video and subscribing commenting all that jazz and i'll see you next time bye